Yum, yum! Let's build the rig in Moto then. So first we're going to add a locator and we'll call it a plane and this locator will be re will represent our plane. I'm going to change the shape to custom uh, style to add since we still want to see the, the locator drawing in there and we'll change the shape to plane. We'll uncheck the solid and we will choose axis Y. That's my plane representation. I can now move and orient it any way I want. And we chose to to represent uh, the the Y axis to be our normal. So that's because that's the axis that's that's perpendicular to our plane. So we say that Y is our normal. And just to make things a little bit nicer in the item list, I'm going to change the color, set the color to cyan. Now we need the point, so I'm going to add another locator and I will call it point A, that's our point that we'll be testing against intersection and set it color to yellow and again place it somewhere in the scene. And we'll change its uh, shape as well, we'll uh, make it circle. Uh, solid, we align it to view and we'll just make it a little bit smaller. We will also go to display and add a draw options which will allow us to set uh, the wireframe and the fill color. And the fill color will be the one that will be driving through the rig. And by default, let's set it to black. Okay, so let's start nodeling. I'm going to drag are the both the plane and a point the schematic view and from a plane we said it we need a point on the plane so that will be uh, the locator so we need uh, from channels we will need the word position for the plane and we also need the normal which we will extract from a uh, locator's um, orientation so we need the word rotation as well and from the point a we only need the word position now all these channels are matrices because that's the way Moto uh, stores transformations. Um, what we need is we need to extract a vectors out of that so we can we can use them uh, in our dot product operation. So I'm going to grab a matrix vector node, and actually we'll have three copies of it. The first one will be the point P, which is a uh, point on the plane, word position. And for this to work, we need to plug the word position in, as a matrix input. And then on the row, which is translation. This extracts the word position of our plane locator uh, in a form of vector. And we can see it here under output X, Y, Z. Now we can do exactly the same thing um, for a point A word position, so plug it into matrix input and this will be our point A word position and we'll again choose translation as matrix row and here we get the word position of our uh, point A. Now we need our uh, normal to the plane, so we'll plug the plane word rotation into our last matrix vector node, we'll call it uh, plane normal n. And actually, because we want to extract the y axis, the default setting is fine. So we stay with the matrix row y, and we also need to have a, want to have a normalized set to true. So our vector is normalized and has a length of one. And let's actually verify what we're doing. So I'm going to add a locator, I will call it helper origin. And another one that I will call helper n. And I'll parent n to the origin and then set on the origin and the properties uh, locator. Set my link to line. And I will drag a helper here. And I will add a position transform item, add the position xyz. And we'll simply plug the normal n, um, plane the normal n vector 
into the position of our, my helper item and just one thing one more thing to change on their display just to set the um, size to zero so they are just smaller and now let me grab the plane move it just to the side so this now represents my vector and uh, normal uh, to the plane and as as extracted from the matrix so if i now start obviously if i start moving this there's, there's no effect but if i start rotating my plane you can see that it perfectly represents the y-axis here it's the same thing so here's my normal extracted and all the uh, world position that i needed as well as vectors Going back to the drawing board, um, we see the next thing we need is the PA vector, so the vector going from uh, from the point on the plane P to our uh, point that we are testing uh, A, and we need to have this vector normalized. So that's quite straightforward. We need to have a vector math uh, vector math subtract operation and uh, as our vector a uh, we need uh, our point a word position so point a word position goes to vector a and then our um, point on the plane position goes to the vector b and this gives us the vector p a another node we're going to add is normal it's a vector normalize so we, we're passing the output from our vector PA to normalized vector input and that gives us normalized PA. Quick note on vector subtraction, the order in which we subtract vectors is important. In our case we want to have a vector that points from P to A and to get that vector we have to subtract P from A. If we subtracted A from P, we would get the vector that uh, goes in the opposite direction and that's not what we want. So let's verify our results once again. I'm going to add one more locator, call it helper and that's going to be our PA, parent it until the origin, uh, set display to zero uh, drag it into schematic view and just like before on the position uh, the three channels and get the output from the normalized PA into the position and now you can see that we are perfectly set up for our dot product as I move the point A this vector now represents the direction of the point A uh, in relation to the point P on a plane. Okay, so let's add the dot product node to our rig. And what we need to plug in there? We need uh, the plane normal N. So let me just mark it with a blue color. And we also need our normalized PA. Let's make it orange. The order in which we plug these two, doesn't matter, the dot product um, is commutative, which means that it doesn't matter whether it's a, a dot product B or B dot product A, the result will be the same. Let's check the results then. So select the dot product node and what we are interested in is the output X. With the dot product node selected, grab the point A and start moving it and observe how the output x value changes. So here if I if I get if I get two those two vectors very close pointing in the same direction you can see the, how the output x just approaches one. Um, now as I go down 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 getting close to intersecting with a plane you can see as the output x just goes uh, towards zero. Right, and then as I go below the plane, so I go the, in the opposite direction than the uh, plane normal, you can see that it just approaches minus one again. So it all seems to be working fine. Yum, yum!